Jeff, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thanks, I have Alan. a few questions that I'd like to ask you about your background. Let's go. I'd like to start off by asking you what individuals have had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Uh, probably the first one would be uh, my father when I was in junior high. Uh, he wrestled at Ponca City High School in Oklahoma and he, you know, got me involved in the sport and I wasn't, you know, that involved or into it. When I first got started, I was more into track. I was a pole vaulter, but once I got into high school, the uh, uh, the, the wrestling aspect of it, I decided to go out for the sport because my first wrestling coach, Dick Ferguson, was also the freshman football coach, so he recruited me out and, you know, it was uh, such a fit for me. It was so exciting that uh, I ended up, that was about all I ever did because I enjoyed it so much. And then as I, uh, obviously my high school coach m had a big impact on me and, uh, you know, I had quite a few shoulder injuries, so I didn't uh, get to move on after college. My freshman year in college, I dislocated both of my shoulders, and so, you know, that pretty much ended things for me, but uh, uh, I enjoyed the sport so much, I wanted to get involved and, you know, started a coaching career, and, you know, that lasted, uh, you know, about 30 years or so, so I, I truly enjoyed it. And during that time, probably the most influential would be John Azevedo, uh, coaching with him for six years was, uh, was very meaningful and I, you know, learned a lot technically. Also, Bob Anderson, I coached with him for quite a few years uh, in the club setting and, you know, learned a tremendous amount from Bob as well. Uh, Jeff, do, who is or who was your idol? Uh, when I was in high school, uh, probably uh, uh, Yojo Yutaki, when I, I went to a wrestling camp when I was a freshman and he was overseeing our bunkhouse. So, <laughs> you know, he became one of my idols and a terrific guy and a terrific wrestler. And uh, also uh, Larry Morgan, uh, he, was, oh, yeah. he was competing at Cal Poly when I was still in high school and I enjoyed watching him. And, so, and obviously, you know, Dan Gable, like most folks say, was a big influence. I think you mentioned this, but how did you get started in wrestling? In high school? Oh, uh, in high school, that's yeah. when I first got started. But my, my dad was starting to show yeah. me technique, you know, that he learned when he was in, in school when I was in junior high. What do you contribute to your uh, wrestling success? Uh, I, I think that... Uh, Probably a love for the sport is something that's uh, driven me to, you know, to work very hard at, you know, learning how to, number one, be a good competitor, and number two, how to be a good coach. Uh, when I was uh, probably 16 years old, uh, you know, my dad left our family, and uh, I know that I was involved in wrestling quite a bit, and that was a real hurtful thing, and I, I knew that. You know, it felt like your whole world was falling apart, but I knew the one thing I could still do and be pretty good at was wrestling. So it kind of drove me to, you know, to try to excel, you know, in the sport as a competitor. And then uh, when I couldn't compete any longer, uh, it, it seemed like I, I was a little frustrated with that because I never was able to achieve some goals that I had. And so that kind of drove me in the in the direction of coaching, I think. and. You know, and then I was doing that for quite a few years. Is there one uh, outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? Uh, uh, many great, you know, memorable events. I know that uh, when I was coaching with Frank Gonzalez at El Dorado, we were the first Orange County school ever to win a state championship, and that was a thrill. And I was still pretty young, I think 25 years old then. So. You know, that was really a big deal, and I had, uh, I had a great revelation after that, and that is after you win a state championship, you still can't get a cup of coffee at Winchell's, so <laughs> it doesn't, you know, it didn't mean a whole lot, and I had just become a Christian at the time, and then I, you know, prior to that, I was trying to prove something, but after I got to experience that, I, I looked at coaching from a whole different perspective, and uh, another moment would be at Calvary Chapel we kind of started the high school and started the program from scratch and in our fourth year being the first 
private school to win a state championship was a was a big thrill. Yeah. And probably the most memorable one was getting to sit with my son when he got to compete for the high school state championship himself. So uh, that was a great. That might have been the, the the greatest thrill, even though it didn't end up end up like he would have liked. But that was a great thing. Yeah. As a wrestler, is there one match that really stands out in your mind? Uh, I think as a competitor, when I was in high school, I uh, was injured my senior year. That's when my shoulder problems started. I was out most of the season. Uh, there's a, a young man from Upland High School. They were our rivals. George Beresford's getting in inducted, and he, wa he was the coach. And uh, the wrestler there, Scott Toll, had won the five counties tournament. And you know, my first uh, match back after about a month and a half was in uh, our league finals, and I lost and ended up taking third. But the very next week, I beat Scott in the finals pretty badly for the CIF championship, wow. and that was that was pretty fun. Why did you decide to become a coach? Uh, I, I think it was because of the influence of Dick Ferguson. I had two coaches in high school, Dick and Sam Sadich, and uh, Dick was a biology teacher and coach and really a great guy, and I admired him. And uh, so I became a biology teacher and a coach, and you know, I learned a lot of uh, wrestling from Sam Sadich, who is you know, from, from the Midwest, from Illinois, and came out here and you know, really kind of taught me the trade the last couple of years in high school. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach? Uh, I don't think I would do anything differently other than earlier in my career. I, I, I think I would, uh, I would have had a different perspective in coaching your own kids. You, you look at uh, coaching young athletes a little bit differently once your own you know, sons are involved in it and all the experiences they go through. So early in my career, I probably wouldn't have been, you know, having people cut the weight, you know, and, uh, you know, that would probably be one thing I would change. What would you like people to remember about you, Jeff? Uh, that uh, you always competed hard, but you wanted to do it the right way. That, you know, you wanted to follow the rules, you wanted to do everything above board and ethically, and uh, that hopefully that I made a, a difference in the lives of young men, because that's the most important thing to me. In, in ending here, how did wrestling contribute to your life? Uh, the sport made me who I am. You know, I learned to work hard, learn to uh, face adversity and defeat, and pick yourself up and, and start moving forward again and to try to stay positive the whole way. That was probably, probably the lessons I've learned from it. Well, Jeff, again, congratulations on being inducted in the Hall of Fame, and thank you for all your contributions to wrestling. Thank you, Al.